So let's get into the agenda for today. So here's what's coming. We're going to talk about the surprising cause of memory loss. And hint, it's not your age. A lot of people think it is. It's not your age. We're going to talk about what's happening there. We're going to discuss what is NGF. You're going to hear a lot about this today. It's very relevant to things like your memory, your nervous system, what's going on there. Number three, we're going to, we're going to discuss seven reasons to eat this forbidden fruit. And I'm going to be talking about every day. And number four, we're going to talk about why Big Pharma really doesn't want you to know about it and why that might be a conflict of interest in terms of what's happening there. Number five, we're going to show you the easiest and most affordable way to incorporate this forbidden fruit into your routine. And again, at the end, we'll have a live Q&A with me. So the surprising cause of memory loss and something to know is that about 40% of people age 65 or older report memory loss or confusion. And while most people think that becoming forgetful is just a part of getting older, the truth is memory loss is not a part of normal aging. We'd be very clear about this. You know, just like obesity is not normal, heart disease is not normal, diabetes is not normal, the same goes for memory. These are consequences really of human beings living out of harmony. With, with our biology, our, our environment has radically changed in terms of the way we eat and the way we move and the way we live and all these things, right? And the healthcare industry has been trying to figure out a solution to our memory problems for a while. So millions and millions of dollars have been spent to identify the root cause of memory loss and find remedies, both natural and pharmaceutical, that may boost and improve uh, in function and memory. And fortunately, and finally, breakthrough research has identified a single brain protein responsible for changes in memory and brain health in seniors. And this special brain protein is called nerve growth factor, nerve growth factor. And I'll, I'll refer to it often as NGF and we'll, uh, for short, and we'll discuss what that is. So what is NGF? NGF, nerve growth factor, helps your brain cells grow and stay healthy. And it helps your brain form connections between different parts of the brain. It protects your neurons. It's responsible for birthing new brain cells which is a process called neurogenesis. And just for, before I go to the next slide, just look at the brain right there. Look at the synapses, the connection that happens. It's a really beautiful thing. When I was in physical therapy, we always looking at these images of the brain. And what really caught my attention was how the images of the brain very much look like the images of the galaxies and the universe, right? So what you see here on the left are brain cells. Inside your brain, that's what it looks like. All these little connections and networks happening, things moving information all around. And if you back out way with a big telescope and you look at galaxies, very, very similar way that things are looking. I just put this picture in here because I find it fascinating, um, the way that we're all made and how the universe works. And it ties into even more things that I'll, I'll discuss later on. So let's go back to neurogenesis. So as you, so you can think of neurogenesis like making new roads in your brain, right? And, and you, can think, you can also think of a map that keeps expanding. And when new brain cells are, are born, new pathways are created that form uh, roadways to different parts of your brain. And with these new roads, parts of your brain that may have been uh, not, have not been accessible before are now connected, right? And essentially the map gets bigger. And this process quite literally wakes up your brain, helping different areas of the brain that are responsible for memory, learning, speech, mood, balance, and more to talk to each other. And it's all about connection, right? With the brain, it's all about connection and communication inside your brain. So essentially, Think of it this way. You want more roads and you want more roads connecting and you want a bigger map. Your brain loves it when this happens. Things start to come online, right? So now, earlier I mentioned about the breakthrough research that has identified the single brain protein responsible for changes in memory and brain health in seniors. Well, the, the unique protein is your brain's most precious resource when it comes to staying sharp mentally and physically as you age. And because of this, it's no surprise that clinical studies have linked this brain protein to increases in longevity and mental cap capacity. Even more miraculously, this brain protein can help you grow new brain cells at any age. So think about that, right? Any age, you, you have the potential to grow these new brain cells, connect more roads, have better communication with what's happening in your brain, and therefore improve your memory and your cognition and everything that's happening. Now, if you're a family doctor has never talked to you about the nerve growth factor brain protein, you won't be surprised to know why. And that's because your body has to manufacture nerve growth protein on its own. So there'll be no way for big pharma to profit 
off a pharmaceutical form of it. And if big pharma can't profit off of it, off this key brain, brain resource, generally your doctor can't either, either, and he's not really incentivized to talk to you about this or let alone go research about this stuff on his own. So for that reason, this little known brain protein is often overlooked and never discussed in modern healthcare. Instead, and I hate to say it, but a lot of what is happening in both the healthcare industry and the food industry is much more about profits than it is your actual health. And I can say this as a practitioner who's been helping people with their health for over 20 years, which leads me to another problem uh, that really needs to be addressed. So as we age, we produce less nerve growth factor, NGF, protein on our own. We, we, it's like collagen. Your body makes less collagen as you age. You, pr you, you produce less NGF as you age. And without enough nerve growth factor protein, our neurons are not able to work properly, which can lead to problems with movement, feeling, memory, and clear thinking. And when nerve growth factor levels get too low, it can also lead to nerve damage and even paralysis in some cases. In simple terms, the tiny electrical wires that connect different areas of your brain get switched off. And when neurons get switched off, our brain cells die. The map gets smaller, the roads shut down, and we lose that connection. And as a result, our cognitive function, motor skills, and memory abilities decrease. In fact, the impact of low nerve growth factor levels is so devastating that researchers now believe deficiency in nerve growth factor, brain protein, is the number one reason for cognitive decline and other memory concerns in older adults. And this map, this, this chart does a great job of showing this. You can see the relationship between brain resources, right? Those are the raw materials that help your, your brain um, with nerve growth factor and, and your memory and your cognition and the relationship it has with your age. So just like collagen declines as you age, nerve growth factor declines as you age. And you can see when, when nerve growth factor gets really low, that's when it, dementia, terminal decline and things like that can start to set in. So really important to know that. It's also important to know, again, it's not these things, right? It's not your age. It's not plaque buildup. It's not family history or bad genetics. It's the decline in nerve growth factor. If you don't have enough nerve growth factor, your brain and body will decline at an accelerated rate. And, and at this point, it's clear that nerve growth factor protein is your brain's most precious resource, not only for maintaining mental sharpness and motor function, but also your independence as you age. There's really two things that keep you independent as you, as you get older. And I saw this all the time as a physical therapist is your ability to get in and out of bed, up and down from a toilet, your, your functional mobility, and then your mental capacity, right? Are you able to, to take care of all the things in your house, the bills, the chores, you know, turn off the, the stove? That, that's really important for your independence as you age and avoiding things like a nursing home and situations that aren't always so pleasant for people, right? So think about those two things, really important. But unfortunately, since nerve growth factor is a protein, it cannot cross the blood-brain barrier. And furthermore, nerve growth factor is rapidly metabolized by peptidases. That's a protein digesting enzyme. And therefore administering nerve growth factor orally isn't an efficient, it's not an efficient way to increase biosynthesis of nerve growth factor in the body. And if it was, big pharma would have already been all, all over this, right? They would have figured something out. But the good news is, <clears throat> and this is where the benefits of science and technology come in. Researchers have now identified several natural botanicals that encourage the natural production of nerve growth factor, one of which is an unusual forest fruit with remarkable brain boosting potential. But this is no ordinary fruit. It's actually the fruiting body of a unique fungus fungi, a science scientifically known as Heracium aranasis. And it's, it's most affectionately known by many terms. It's called monkey's head, bearded hedgehog, pom-pom mushroom. And since many forms of fungi are lethal, are lethal if consumed, it was even called the for, uh, forbidden forest fruit before our ancient ancestors forged it themselves and discovered its shocking benefits. And in recent years, this highly regarded mushroom has become quite popular and for good reason. Not only has it been revered for centuries as a medical ally, but according to breakthrough research, countless studies are proving it has a lot, of, a lot to offer us in terms of our brain benefits. And this functional fungi has garnered considerable amounts of attention for its brain boosting benefits, particularly in memory. And that's because it's packed with an array of potential bioactive compounds that stimulate the production of your brain's number one resource, nerve growth factor. Yes, you read that right. This forest fruit can help restore the nerve growth factor brain protein. 
And researchers recently identified two special compounds that found only in this mushroom can stimulate nerve growth protein and the production and new brain cells in humans. And that's the Heronoceus and Erinacinus. This is very hard for me to pronounce. <laughs> These tricky little names of fungi. So for example, in a clinical trial involving adults ages 50 to 80 with mild cognitive impairment, they were given a total of three grams um, that's divided into three one gram doses of mushroom or a placebo every day for 16 weeks. And interestingly, researchers did a follow-up four weeks after the trial concluded and individuals were not consuming who were not consuming the mushroom during those four weeks and, and compared it to researchers found significant decreases in the cognitive functional score. So once they, once they stopped taking it or they weren't taking it, radical decreases in the cognitive functional scores. It was very powerful. So as you can see, the adults who ate the mushrooms experienced significant increases in scores assessing overall cognitive function, right? Really, really powerful thing that's happening with the brain and connections and forming new roads and maps. So essentially the researchers discovered that supplementing with the forest fruit resulted in improved memory and cognitive function, provided it's, it provided it's taken consistently. That's really key. Also like collagen, you have to take it consistently. And to top it off, this mushroom is also noted to help reduce beta amyloid plaque. Beta amyloid plaques are known to inflame brain tissue, disrupt healthy neuron transmission, and are indicated in nerve degeneration, all of which are believed to contribute to memory loss. Therefore, if you're looking to support cognitive function and aid memory formation and retention throughout your lifespan, then supplementing with this mushroom is, a, is pretty much a no-brainer. So, so what is the formal name of this for, forest fruit, you might ask? Anybody know what it is? It's the most common name for it is lion's mane, and it not only provides brain-boosting benefits, it does so many other things that are beneficial to your body. So check, the, that, check this out, right? Like, not only does it stimulate the brain cells, it also helps relieve mild symptoms of depression and anxiety. It may speed recovery from nervous system injuries. It may also reduce stroke-related brain damage. It protects against ulcers in the digestive tract. It reduces digestive disorders. It may even reduce risk factors related to heart disease. It helps manage healthy blood sugar. It may help reduce nerve pain in the hands and feet, and it boosts the immune system. It's a magical lion's mane mushroom. It does so many things for us. Now, many of you have been hearing about inflammation. Inflammation is coming to the forefront as many prominent factors in numerous diseases, and this is likely due to the slow, steady damage induced by inflammation at a cellular level. And in cases where ongoing low-grade stress is an issue, this damage can affect any system in the body, thus setting the stage for disease. And lion's mane fruiting body extracts have demonstrated potent antioxidant activity, which is just what the body needs when faced with chronic inflammation. Lion's mane can also promote the healing of wounds by enhancing the activity of immune cells and stimulating the production of collagen to fill in damaged areas. Collagen and lion's mane work very well together for this. So injuries to the brain or spinal cord can be devastating and they often cause paralysis or loss of mental functions and that can take a long time to heal. However, research has found that lion's mane mushroom extract may help speed recovery from these types of injuries by stimulating the growth and repair of nerve cells. In fact, lion's mane mushroom extract has been shown to reduce recovery time by 23 to 41% when given to participants with nervous system injuries. And new, new research has found that lion's mane mushroom extract has anti-inflammatory effects that can reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression. That's why I asked the happiness part in the beginning. Other studies have found that lion's mane ex extract can also help regenerate brain cells and improve the functioning of the hippocampus. That's a region of the brain responsible for, for producing memories and emotional responses. Researchers now believe that improved functioning of the hippocampus may explain the reductions in anxious and depressive behaviors. And how about this? Lion's mane helps to stimulate the growth of damaged or severed nerves and helps them to regenerate, restore their function, and improve communication between neurons. Lion's mane extract may help reduce diabetic nerve pain in the hands and feet in subjects with diabetic nerve damage. There's uh, six weeks of lion's mane mushroom extract significantly reduced pain, lowered blood sugar levels, and even increased antioxidant levels. It's incredible what lion's mane can do to the health of your nervous system. And studies have also found 
that lion's mane mushroom extract provides fat metabolism and lowers triglycerides. In one study, in subjects fed a high fat diet and given high doses of, or given just daily doses of lion's mane mushroom, they observed 27% lower triglyceride levels and 42% less weight gain after 28 days. And since obesity and high triglycerides are both considered risk factors for heart disease, this is one way that lion's mane mushrooms contribute to heart health. And one way that lion's mane lowers blood sugars is by blocking the activity of the enzyme alpha glucosidase. And this is, uh, breaks down carbs in the, in the small intestine. And when this enzyme is blocked, the body is unable to digest and absorb carbs as effectively, which results in lowered blood sugar levels. And it improves cognition. So lion's mane has been found to boost levels of nerve growth factor in the brain, leading to improved learning, memory, and overall cognitive performance. And I'm going to show you something else. I showed you the picture earlier uh, with our brains, an image of our brain and the universe. And what you see here on the right, you're going to see what's called mycelium. Lion's mane are part of the, the fungi world, right? The, the, the fungi kingdom. And below all of that is what's called mycelium. It's this network that connects all the plants that are going on. And just like our brain is, is, has roads and sending information all over the place, so too is this mycelium. And the lion's mane is a part of that. And again, what you see on the left here is an image comparing this mycelium network and your brain network. It's fascinating to me, like how the universe has a network, your brain has a network, and underground, there's all these networks all trying to communicate. And the more we connect things between all these different areas, the better we all feel, the more we wake up, the more creative we are and our memories just start to come online. It is absolutely fascinating. And the science, going back to lion's mane, the science is proving how fascinating this is really, really is, right? So with 104 studies as validation, the lion's mane mushroom truly is one of nature's most miraculous healers. As long as you're using its most potent form, it's really important, but the quality is very important and you're using it daily. Quality and consistency is what does it, which is why the path we've worked so tirelessly to provide you with the most potent and delicious lion's mane adaptogenic powder on the market. So I'm really excited, super excited to introduce what I'm drinking right now. This is Native Mind Organic Adaptogenic Tea. We're making it available for the first time right now. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm going to talk more about it right here. So one scoop of Native Mind has 1,500 milligrams of lion's mane, which is equivalent to roughly one whole lion's mane mushroom. So you'll get all the perks of this superfood in an easy to drink tea without having to track down raw lion's mane, weigh it, prepare it, or handle it. And honestly, it probably wouldn't taste good if you did it that way either. And here <clears throat> you can see that it also comes with two different things that we put in there. So we put rose hips and rhodiola. And they do two separate things, right? So rose hips is very beneficial to your nervous health, nervous system health. It also helps to reduce arthritic pain. It also helps reduce fat or improve fat loss. So if you're having weight issues and body composition issues, it can help with that. It may improve heart health. It improves skin elasticity and healing. And rhodiola helps fight stress and fatigue. It enhances brain function. It may improve symptoms of anxiety and it promotes metabolic health. So there's two things that we added to it that make it unique from other Lion Mane's products. So let's review this real quick. What's in Native Mind Tea? Again, it has 1500 milligrams of organic Lion's Mane mushroom powder that helps restore nerve growth factor protein levels in the brain to promote sharper memory, nerve health, and vitality. It also has 300 milligrams of organic rose hips. That's a botanical extract that adds antioxidant and anti-inflammatory and pain relieving properties to each serving. And it has 200 milligrams of organic rhodiola. That's a flowering herb that's shown to help fight stress and fatigue. And then it has 100 milligrams of just a little bit of organic peppermint. And that, what that does is it helps aid digestion and it adds a delicious, cool flavor. It's not over the, if you're someone who doesn't like peppermint, I personally love peppermint, but even if you don't like it, you can't even taste the peppermint. It just adds a nice little sweet flavor to it. Um, but we love this and I, I just love this product. It's so it's so native. It is very much connected to nature and everything we're about here at Native Path. So let's talk about how to make Native Mind tea. And I'll first say it's extremely easy. So your Native Mind comes with a small scoop that's roughly the size of one teaspoon. And all you need to do is simply add one scoop to a cup of hot water. You stir it and you enjoy it. Like it takes like no time at all. I just boil some water, 
I put some, put it in a cup, put the put the teaspoon in there, stir it, and I you, you can add other things if you want, but you don't need to. It's on its own. It is absolutely amazing and it tastes delicious. So as an exclusive launch special, again, no no one has even heard about that. You guys are like are truly the first ones to hear about this. As an exclusive launch special, we've set aside a very limited supply of Native Mind Organic Adaptogen drink just for you. And you can have the opportunity to stock up and save or just try it out with a very special discount. And all you need to do is click the link Coach Rachel and Krista have entered in the chat now. And you click on that link, you'll go to a page that explains even more about this. And you're going to see a lot of different opportunities to take advantage of Native Mind. So now I'd like to introduce our better brain and 60 days risk-free money back guaranteed. At Native Path, we believe in the quality of our products, the purity of our products, right? Which is why we offer a risk-free 60-day return and refund policy. And when it comes to improving cognition, we believe Native Mind Adaptogenic Drink Mix to be the most superior adaptogenic blend to do just that, but don't take our word for it. So the research shows clinical improvements in cognition and memory in adults ages 50 to 80 years of age after just eight weeks of use. So just imagine the relief you'll feel knowing that with each delicious serving, you're supporting a sharper mind and memory, not to mention healthier pain-free nerves. And that's exactly what you'll be getting with Native Mind Adaptogenic Drink Mix. And while we believe the research speaks for itself, we still want you to feel secure and safe with your purchase. And that's why for any reason, you're not 100% satisfied, you may return your unopened products to us within 60 days of the, of the day that we deliver the product to you. And that way you can feel, you can rest assured that you're, you're ordering with confidence and knowing that your purchase is back by our 60 day money back guarantee. So with that, I just want to say thank you so much. And again, you can lock in your exclusive launch pricing by either clicking the link coach Rachel or Krista put in the chat using the link that will be emailed to you in the recording. So again, after this, after this recording, we're going to email you the link. We're going to you know, have the whole, whole recording. You can review it and send it to your friends. Um, but we're going to get to them some questions now. So some questions that you may have about Native Mind and what's happening there. So just to recap, what is Native Mind as far as the taste? What, what does it taste like? If you ask me, it's, it's sweet and refreshing. Again, it has that touch of peppermint, but it's not overbearing at all. Again, even if you don't like peppermint, I think you're going to love uh, the way this tastes. It has benefits of memory, focus, and nerve health. And the ingredients are very, very simple. Just five ingredients. It has lion's mane, just a little bit of stevia, rhodiola, rose hips, and peppermint just to make it taste well. And lion's mane mushrooms, what are they? They're shaggy, <laughs> shaggy fungi. They're large white shaggy mushrooms that resemble the mane of a lion. Found in several regions of Asia, they contain bioactive compounds that are scientifically proven to improve brain function, gut health, inflammation, and much more. And one question I, I'm wondering we're going to get is, does Native Mind contain caffeine? And the answer is no, it does not contain caffeine, but rather it contains rhodiola. That's a natural ingredient that enhances energy. And can you put collagen in Native Mind? Heck yeah, you can. You can put collagen in pretty much anything and it goes great in Native Mind too. So if you want to use it in the morning or the afternoon or even in the evening, that's another thing you could do. Um, but the two go extremely well together. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of carryover in terms of the benefits, especially, especially when it comes to improving the elasticity of your skin and your digestive system. So, all right, I think we've answered some of the questions, but now... Feel free to type any questions that you may have in the Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen to get uh, really further information about Native Mind and let's see how I can help you. So let's go ahead and close this screen here, stop the share, and let's go to our Q&A and see what we got. Okay, <clears throat> does this use fruiting body, the fruiting body of the mushroom? Uh, you, know, you know, Sherry, I'm not exactly sure. I, how it's all how it's all meshed up, right? The fruiting body, I, I believe so though. But I don't want to I don't want to say the wrong answer um, in terms of like what what you mean by fruiting body of the mushroom. So I don't want to give you a wrong answer, but um, I know it's extracted in the, in a very clean way that has no harmful effects to your health. And another question from Anonymous: My understanding is that supplements absorb into your body best in liquid form. Since this is powder and is being used to make a liquid drink, what is the absorption rate? As far as like giving you an actual absorption rate, I don't really have one for you. And uh, that's, I don't necessarily agree with that, 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 uh, that assumption that if it's liquid, it absorbs better. We have many powders that 
Uh, people absorb very, very well. So I don't think you're going to have a problem with the absorption rate. People generally notice, uh, I notice when I drink this, because because the powder gets put into a liquid, right? It gets blended very easily. I notice when I drink this, I actually feel more alert instantly. Um, now the studies will show it, you drink about a week or up to eight weeks, you're going to see a radical improvements in a lot of different areas. Um, but the absorption rate, I don't think is an issue at all. You should you absorb it very well. Um, how is this product resource? Where did the environmental impact? Uh, these are all grown organically and in very ethical, sustainable ways. So that's actually the way we do all our products, right? As far as our collagen, our krill, everything is resourced and grown in the most ethical, sustainable way for the fungi and in the environment. Another question is, I use your MCT product with my coffee. Can I use it in my tea instead? Uh, yes, you can use the MCT product in the coffee. Actually, a lot of people also use, I, I've used our MCT in the lion's vein as well, and it goes great. So it shouldn't have a problem with that at all. And what are possible allergic reactions? Cheryl, I actually looked this up. I don't, I, as long as you're not re allergic reactive to peppermint or stevia, I, in which most people aren't, those are really non-reactive. Most people do not, I couldn't find anything of anybody having negative reactions with lion's mane. So I think, I think you, you're not, shouldn't be worried about that at all. And Diane says, have you heard of hibiscus to make you jittery? Can you put that in your coffee? Uh, hibiscus in your coffee making, I'm not sure. I've never tried, never heard of it either. Um, yeah, if you're, if you're having jittery issues with coffee, um, you may want to consider, you know, something like matcha or something like that to give you energy. But actually, I, I love the natural energy as well from this native mind and the way it makes me feel. It's really good. So Virginia says, would this be good for my 18 year old uh, type one diabetic? Yes, this would be really good. In terms of things with the heart, anything going on with the blood, um, you know, it promotes healthy heart energy levels and combats fatigue. There's so many benefits to the heart. So yeah, it's completely safe. And uh, there's really no, there's no contraindications. The only thing that I would be concerned about is if you're pregnant. Um, that the only reason I say that is because there's not a lot of research on it, but there's really no contraindications or negative side effects in any way. So Brenda asks, hello, my mom has dementia, she's 86 years old. She's on several medications for heart health. I wanted to let her try some of this. Would it help her? Um, what is the best time to take it? How does a person know if memory loss they are having here or there is normal and not normal, something more serious? This is the case with me, but it doesn't interfere with everyday living, just something I have noticed over the last years. I'm 62 years old. I definitely think it would help her. Yeah, absolutely. And we talked about nerve growth factor, how it declines as you age. That's probably a big part of why she's having memory issues. So I think taking the native mind and trying that out, I think you should expect a lot, a lot of improvements in that. You know, as far as being able to tell like what's normal, what's not normal, just remember, as we discussed earlier, it's, it's not normal to have memory loss. It's not normal to forget someone's name like that you see every day or your phone number, your address. It's a sign of that nerve growth factor coming down. So that's the, that's the main thing. You know, if you're having any issues like that, it's not normal. And it's also important to know that you can improve that um, by the consumption of something like native mind that has nerve growth factor that your body can absorb. I'm at lion's mane in coffee. Oh, Diane. Yeah. So yeah, you could, you could put it in coffee. Um, but that's typically not how people do it. And that's not how I do it. I think the taste might kind of feel a little off. So I, I you can try it and see if you like it, but but that's, that's completely fine. Um, if you want to do that, it's, it's, it's okay. But I would suggest trying it on its own just to enjoy its own flavor. And you can put some collagen in there on top of that if you want to try that. Um, how much should you be taking every day? I'd say at a minimum, if your goal is to improve mem uh, memory, I would say take at least one little scoop a day. Um, so that's about all you need as far as when you take it. You can take it any time of the day. You can take it in the morning. You can take it in the evening. You can take it in the afternoon drink. All of that is fine. It has um, no negative effects on your sleep in any way. Um, Susan says, how many servings in a bag? It has 30. And Nancy says, there are so many different collagens on the market. What makes yours better? Um, so Nancy, we're going to focus on, I'm going to answer your question, but for everybody else, we're going to be focusing on native mind. Um, what makes ours better is the quality and the purity. Ours is type one and type three. It comes from grass-fed cows that are never given any hormones or antibiotics. It's also... Um, comes from the bovine hide. That's the most sustainable, absorbable ways you can take in collagen. A lot of the other collagens out there, they're going to be multi-collagens, type two, type five, type seven. It's very diluted and also comes from animals that are not um, grown or treated in ethical ways. They're given hormones, antibiotics. So 
short story short, you're not just what you eat, you are what you eat eats, right? And, and that's why we make sure everything comes from the best possible source. Saren, Karen says, can it, can it, how can it um, be immune supporting and anti-inflammatory? Um, well, a big part of it is because it, it promotes health to the gut. The gut health is what it does. And we know the immune system is so beneficial um, to the health. It also improves organ health. So lion's mane has been used in, as an overall tonic in, in traditional Chinese medicine for years. And according to tr traditional Chinese medicine, it's nutritious for all five internal organs. So the liver, the spleen, the lung, the heart, the kidney. Um, and as far as like, how can it be both uh, immune supporting and anti-inflammatory? Th those kind of go hand in hand. Um, very, very much kind of go hand in hand. It's anti-inflammatory because of those properties, especially what it does to reducing high blood pressure organ health, heart health, mood and depression. And Renee says, okay, okay to take with crow oil and turmeric. Yeah, absolutely. All our other products <clears throat> you can take. There's actually no medications really that should contraindicate it as well. Um, so there's no problems with there. It goes well with all of our products. And uh, Marisi says, if someone has surgery, can they take it or stop it? And if so, for how long? Um, interactions with Medicaid. Yeah, I just kind of answer that. Yeah, if you've just taken surgery, it's completely okay. And that's what's nice about super native, very organic products like this is not, not contraindicated in really any way. Um, Anonymous says, I'm just a little concerned about the stevia. Some controversy I read, what are your thoughts consuming stevia daily? Yeah, <laughs> so uh, there, there's a whole other blog that we wrote up about that, but the, the recent studies about like, or the, really just this talk about stevia and monk fruit, a lot of it I, I think is like total hogwash. Um, first off, like the problem, as far as like what makes us, you know, fat sick and unhealthy, it's it's sugar, it's toxic fats, it's grains, it's processed and refined foods. And a lot of what that content is coming from is the, the modern food industry making more natural foods out to be the enemy. And it's really sad. And like some things like stevia and monk fruit, those are very good, very healthy alternatives to things like sugar and acid, you know, all the aspartame that they make and what they'll do is they'll make those things wrong. So as long as the stevia and the monk fruit are coming from good, good sources and ours is, are all quality sources, organic, no problems with that. They're, they're really good ways to, to, to have a little bit of sweetener in your products. Um, next one says, will this have any effect on my thyroid if I take medicine? Yeah, no, you shouldn't have any, any negative side effects with thyroid or any medications you're taking. It's completely safe. It's one of the safest things you can, um, so it's really exciting. And all right, I think there's no more questions. All right, no more questions. We did it. All right. Okay, so thank you all again for joining. I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you for your questions and all your engagement. And again, we will email you um, a recording of this webinar. So feel free to watch it again if you have any questions or, or forward it on to your friends and your family. And last thing, don't forget the link in here. You can claim your webinar special or exclusive offer today. And I hope you try it. I would love to hear how much you like it. Um, so really excited about that. But thank you again for joining us. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Don. Thank all of you for joining us. I hope you're doing well. And we'll have another webinar in a couple of weeks. But I want to hear how much you like this. So thank you so much. And you'll have a great day. Bye-bye.